Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos that you watched them, liked them and uh, subscribed. Uh, I'm truly truly grateful for it. If you are new to my channel I'd like to give you a big welcome. I'm very glad you found me and I hope that this reading will help you. Today we're going to take a look what kind of uh, energies you can expect in the month of July in the areas of money, career and finance. Uh, but as usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind uh, before you're wondering what these stones are they have no special meanings they are just uh, uh, keeping the cards not to fly away because sometimes uh, there can be a little bit windy because i'm doing this reading uh, from outside but uh, let's get started Central of your reading is uh, the chariot card, uh, which is uh, the card of uh, victory, leaving uh, the hard times behind, and uh, it is also uh, the card of the control. So maybe some of you uh, are, um, if you're looking for a job, you're applying for a new job, this is a, a good card, or you're trying to get a promotion, this is an amazing card to get in a reading because uh, it is telling you to go for it for some of you uh, maybe you are trying to control a situation a little bit too much because she is in control or you might need to control your emotions and whatever you think a little bit uh, better uh, uh, for some of you um, you might have been just going through uh, uh, financial difficulties and, and if that's the case uh, uh, this card indicates that uh, you are overcoming the obstacles that you had uh, in the past and you're coming out victorious and you're leaving everything that hasn't been serving you uh, behind. And your reading starts uh, with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is all about moving on and leaving uh, the troubled times, uh, leaving uh, something uh, that was very stormy behind and arriving to calmer shores where things are getting better, things are uh, uh, becoming more stable. This is uh, definitely resonating with the chariot in a sense that you are leaving uh, something behind, something that was uh, hard time. So definitely better times are coming to you. And the Fool is indicating a new chapter, uh, a new chapter in your life, uh, in, in your professional life. This can be a new project that's starting, this can be a new job, a new promotion, or uh, even a new business that you might be starting. And uh, it, it tells me that you're going to take the leap of faith uh, and, 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 and uh, get into it. Um, Again, it's a, a, a very fresh energy uh, which shows you that uh, obviously by leaving something behind that was uh, very troublesome, you're starting a new chapter in your life. Now you do have uh, the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is indicating that there's something uh, that you don't see, something uh, that you are uh, making you uh, feel trapped maybe there's a situation that you don't know how to get out of it maybe in your current job uh, you don't know uh, how to get out of a situation uh, but it's all in your head maybe the, it, it is um, kind of temporary blindness uh, uh, doesn't uh, help you to to uh, see how to get this new project new opportunity is starting and how to move on so whatever it is um, Think about that the message of this card is really uh, that everything is in your head. So uh, you need to approach things a little bit uh, better, a little bit more positive. Uh, and, 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 I, and I feel that uh, that's all that's holding you back this month. And the next card, we talked about positivity. The sun is all about uh, positivity and uh, abundance and stability. This is the most uh, uh, positive card in the whole deck uh, and uh, it is kind of following uh, the Six of Swords which is kind of just double confirming that you are leaving the troubled ties behind and the sun will shine for you again. Uh, what uh, 
can be another uh, meaning of the sun, sorry for the wind. Uh, maybe there's something that you don't know uh, or there's some kind of a secret that you don't know maybe that's why you cannot see the situation but usually the sun uh, uh, shines light to it and you're gonna be able to see clearly and find some kind of a solution for this situation where you uh, don't see the way out And the next card is the Ten of Cups. Uh, again, the, the theme here is uh, leaving the troubled uh, times behind and and uh, regaining happiness. Uh, as you can see, the Ten of Cups is all about uh, the rainbow and sunshine after the rain. Like you practically have it in uh, this uh, reading figuratively and by the meaning of the cards. Ten of Cups is this energy where you are uh, finding your happiness again uh, this uh, when stability and uh, and uh, abundance is coming uh, back to your life if you look at it they decide to be happy whatever they went through they're fine their harmony and uh, and uh, happiness overall this reading has been amazing Libra but let's see what's going to be the final outcome but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe because that's an indication for me that the reading has resonated with you and it also helps me to increase the channel and make sure that more people uh, get this message and for you that's just a push of a bu button so I already I hope that you already pushed that button but always uh, very happy to read in the comment what's going on in your life you do have knight of cups the knight of cups is uh, some kind of an offer some kind of a gesture that will uh, make you happy that will make you uh, very uh, emotionally fulfilled now for some of you this can be uh, an offer of a new position a new job a new business offer of any kind whatever it is it has great potential uh, and 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 it is uh, uh, an amazing card to see uh, when you are trying to have something new starting in your life uh, it is also a great card for uh, creativity for some of you you might be uh, uh, thinking about uh, being creative uh, but it also has this uh, dreamy energy so maybe uh, some of you are uh, dreaming a little bit too much so if that's the case try to be a little bit more practical but overall it's a great card to see and the next we have here is the eight of uh, pentacles the eight of pentacles is uh, the card of hard work repetitive work when you're putting in the hours to achieving something this is the card of mastery as well you're definitely uh, good at what you are uh, doing and and this is a great card to see uh, whether you want to get a new job or start your own business or uh, it's just uh, the card that shows you that whatever you're putting your effort in uh, will be rewarded and uh, will be very successful the last card uh, we have here is the hermit energy the hermit is all about going into an inner uh, trip figuring out what is that you want what is that you would make you uh, happy uh, in, in in the future again some of you might be reconsidering what uh, you want to do in your professional what is your true calling what is your um, that will make you uh, happy uh, but I think uh, maybe some of you will be just uh, thinking about a little bit more how to get out of the current situation that makes you uh, blind a little bit uh, but overall uh, you do have a very great uh, reading here and at the bottom of the deck you do have the nine of cups which is the card of wish fulfillment and happiness so dear Libra I think you have an amazing July coming up uh, with some uh, great energies just try to make sure that you are um, you are uh, getting out of your head a little bit and you're not uh, and you're seeing things a little bit better but I think you're gonna see things better because you do have the hermit and overall uh, this month should be all about success for you so uh, dear Libra that's all I have for you I hope that this reading helps you and I'll see you again